As the world's most well-known mousetrap expert, people often ask me, what is the best mousetrap? Well, today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna use motion camera footage and answer that question. What I have in front of me is a massive 50 gallon fish tank. We're gonna turn this into mouse paradise by making the best mousetrap that's ever been assembled. We're gonna fill this with food and water, bedding and places to hide. So every mouse that's caught in this video is gonna drop down into mouse paradise. What we're gonna do is a side-by-side -side comparison of my top four mousetraps. On my YouTube channel, I've posted over 700 videos reviewing different mousetraps. I purchase every mousetrap on the market, including antique mousetraps. I have a massive collection with over 2,000 different mousetraps. And after looking at all those mousetraps, I've narrowed it down to the top four. They're all bucket mousetraps. One is the flip and slide, rolling log, the walk the plank, and the muscal mill. So we're gonna convert this fish tank into the best mousetrap with four different traps on the lid. Here's what I've made. It's a board that fits on the fish tank. And here's the traps. They're attached to buckets with the bottom cut out. So when the mouse gets caught, it will drop down. This fits tightly. Here's the flip and slide. Here's the mescal mill. We have the walk the plank and rolling log. I'll show you a different view so you can see how this trap works. This trap is so big, it's hard to fit it all in one camera shot. What we have here is the flip and slide. This is a great mouse trap where you place bait on the nose, the mouse will go along, try to get the bait, and the bottom will flip up and dunk the mouse. I've caught more mice with the flip and slide than with any other trap, so it has a good chance of being number one. Next we have the mousinator. It's a mescal mill style mouse trap with a spinning rod. This is a great design. The mouse crawls out there, tries to get the bait, it rotates, and they drop down. This is a very old style mouse trap. It's been around for over 400 years. Then we have the walk the plank. This is made by Kentucky Mouse Traps, two different variations. You place bait on the end, the mouse goes out there, tries to get the bait, and like a naughty pirate, it gets dropped down. There's many different variations of walk the planks, and they can be very effective. And finally, we have the rolling log. You place bait in the middle, the mouse will crawl out there, try to get the bait, it spins, and they drop down. So leave a comment down below on which trap you think is gonna catch the most mice. The rolling log, walk the plank, the skull mill, or flip and slide. Each trap will have a ramp, we're gonna set this up for a few weeks in different locations. Barns, chicken coops, sheds, houses, garages, and see how many mice we can catch. I'll have a running tally for each trap, so hopefully we can catch over 50 mice. Let's go set up the motion cameras and let the mouse trap competition begin.
Well, the results are in. After testing out these traps at many different locations over the past few weeks, we caught 74 mice. That's a pretty good sample size. Now, I was concerned about a few variables that might affect the results, such as bait. So I made sure they all got the same bait each night. Also, I changed the position. Sometimes the traps were on the outside, sometimes on the inside, just to make sure everything was even. So I feel very confident with the results. The number one lesson I learned is the spinning traps catch fewer mice than the dunk traps. The reason I think that is is because the mice can feel the spinning traps move and we don't always catch them on the first time. When they only have access to one spinning trap, they really want the bait and they keep coming back until they make a mistake. So these traps are great at catching mice, but when side by side with a dunk trap, these will catch more, the flip and slide and the walk the plank. They have a perfect balance point, so you get them the first time, they don't have to keep coming back. Now the rolling log is one of my all time favorite traps, but in the side by side comparison, it only caught six mice. So it's still a great trap of the four, it's the most affordable. I've caught a ton of mice with it, but it does place number four compared to these others. Now number three is the mouseinator. I love this trap because the mice have to go out there and shift their weight to get the bait on the paddles. It rotates and they fall down. It's a very old style trap and it did work well. We caught 13 mice with it, but it can't compare to the flip traps. Here we have the walk the plank. Now there's many different variations and I can't say this for all of them. This is for the mouse traps made by Kentucky traps. I really like this style because the break point is perfect. They have a magnet in the back so it kind of locks it in place until the mouse is too far. Then they drop down. It's a very good trap. It caught 22 mice. I love the walk the plank, but my all time favorite is the flip and slide. This is the all time best trap I've ever seen. We caught 34 mice with it, but I do have to say I only endorse the official one. This is made by Rennie Traps. If you buy any other model, it's a copy from China. They're lower quality and they don't always work. Over the years, there have been thousands of different mouse traps available on the market and there isn't a perfect mouse trap, but I do consider these to be pretty close to perfect for quite a few reasons. First of all, they're great at catching mice. We've shown that in this video. They work continuously with the mechanics. They don't require batteries. They'll keep catching mice for you nonstop. Also, they're very safe to use. You're not gonna smash your fingers. They're not hard to reset. All you have to do is add bait. They're easy to clean. And you can make them a live catch option or a kill trap if you add water. So they're very versatile and they work well. Now I do get quite a few questions from viewers asking if these traps can also catch rats. I had quite a few rats visit the traps in this video and we didn't catch a single one. So they're not intended to catch rats, but they work great for catching mice. Now viewers might want to know what I did with those 74 mice we caught. I did let them go, but it would take way too long to show all that footage. So the native deer mice we set free and the non-native mice we fed to wild animals at the beaver dam. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.